this is a big project for all of us, the entire Jamaica. So we are absolutely thrilled about it. The National Veranda is one of the top five designs in the Houses of Parliament design competition. It's contending for the coveted position of being the architectural focal point in the National Heroes Park that will become the country's new legislative building. We know we have the best um, design and we are positive about the jury's confidence and, and, and wisdom and that the judgment will be favorable to us. Let's learn more about the National Veranda. We begin with a strategy of lifting the building up. By lifting it up, we give the building prominence. Um, we reduce its footprint through the use of green roofs and terracing slopes. This height allows us to connect, allows us to reflect with views of the harbor, with views of the mountain, uh, with views of Kingston all around us. And the veranda itself is a place we can gather casually, but also where we can gather formally. And parliamentarians and uh, the people can become closer, they can communicate, it can be a forum for discussions, town halls. The height of the veranda uh, allows for significant cross ventilation throughout uh, that space, but also cooling the top of the building. The building has a basic organization. It's actually a very simple building. Uh, a box with a courtyard uh, at the center. From that courtyard, we layer out uh, with meeting rooms, uh, circulation uh, zones, uh, offices, a perimeter courtyard, and, and then the landscape. That stacking also reinforces the organization and hierarchy of the building, with the lowest level being parking and support, admin at the second level, the parliamentarians in the main chamber floor at the third, and then the national veranda and public galleries at the fourth. We can see that the volumes of uh, the two chambers themselves are prominent on every floor and create and establish a clear hierarchy with public galleries above and then daylighting streaming down through the space. This also extends to more functional rooms where legislation and a debate takes place. In the design and construction of uh, modern uh, committee rooms uh, that have up-to-date technology, By placing the building at the center of the site, it allows us to accommodate other activities even along its edges. On the east side, we have a visitor entrance uh, and people's monument, uh, a monolithic wall inscribed with the words and the names of people who have built our culture, people who have built uh, our buildings, uh, people who have participated in our government. On the west side, we have uh, the slope of uh, sheltering the building, uh, a grove walk providing accessible um, and emergency access up to the veranda level. At the north end of the site we have a recreational complex. On the south side we have the National Lawn, a terraced amphitheater uh, that uh, ascends to the Parliament, a reinvigorated uh, and rehabilitated uh, Heroes Park National Shrine, including uh, a stormwater management plan uh, that can create uh, amenity in the creation of ponds uh, and streams, pavilions, and then a reconstructed drop-off uh, for both buses and tourists. The veranda is a threshold, a threshold uh, into a place of transparency and openness that allows people to reconnect with their government. We have worked hard for this. We know we have a strong design. And, you know, and Jamaica needs this, Jamaica needs us, you know, so hopefully the jury will, you know, join in our faith, you know, and, um, and award, you know, I mean, the splendid national veranda designed to the people of Jamaica.